Proposed method for producing polarized proton targets. In research in nuclear physics and elementary particles, it is of great interest to do scattering experiments on targets consisting of protons whose spins are preferentially polarized in a given direction. Each proton has a spin 1 half and a magnetic moment mu0 1.4 10 to minus 26 joules per tesla. Suppose that one tries to apply the method of the preceding problem by taking a sample of paraffin, which contains many protons, applying a magnetic field of 5 tesla and cooling the sample to some very low absolute temperature T. How low would this temperature have to be so that after equilibrium has been reached, the number of protons pointing parallel to the field axis is at least three times as large as the number of proton moments pointing in the opposite direction? So as you can see, this is the same question in t uh, as 4.4, but here we're talking about the magnetic moment value is different for a proton, and the difference comes from the fact that, uh, if you remember, uh, the uh, Bohr magneton was EH bar over twice the mass, and uh, the difference comes from the, uh, the fact that here we have uh, the mass of a proton so it's not the mass of the electron therefore uh, the difference between the masses will account for the three uh, times uh, or a factor of 10 to 3 difference in the magnetic moments so that's some extra information now uh, it's the same problem so similar to 4.4 uh, uh, we don't need to go through the same algebra again uh, we have a change in uh, kt, kt divided by ktr should be uh, equal to 2 mu 0 b uh, divided by 4 times 10 to minus 21 natural logarithm 3. So remember that's what we found by uh, looking at the ratio of up and down moment probabilities and we have found the value of KTR in joules to be 4 times 10 to minus 21 joules. So it's the same thing here. The only difference is that we have to now uh, calculate uh, the mu0 value is different, 1.4, 10 to minus 26 joules per tesla, 5 tesla magnetic field, 4 times 10 to minus 21 natural logarithm 3, if you calculate this, this is roughly 3.18 times 10 to minus 5. And what is the corresponding temperature? Then you can see that temperature is uh, room temperature times this value, 3.18 10 to minus 5. So that corresponds to a temperature of about 9.4 milli Kelvin. So the ratio is 3.18 10 to minus 5 between the thermal energies and here we have uh, a, a corresponding temperature of roughly 9.4 millikelvin.